ndio taswira kamili kwenye maduka tofauti ya kuuza vitabu na sare za wanafunzi. Tofauti kubwa ikidhihirika wazi na hapo awali ambapo wateja kwenye duka hizi sio wengi kikumbuka kwamba huu ni mula wa tatu. Sekta ya elimu ikiendelea kukabiliana mabadiliko ya kalenda baada ya kipindi cha corona, wazazi wameelezea hisia tofauti kufuatia mzigo wa kulipa karo ya shule muula wa tatu unapoanza. Maisha imekuwa magumu kwa sababu imekuwa taamu nyingi kwa mwaka mmoja. Tukawa na mziko kama wazazi ya kulipa fees. Lakini tunajaribu tu. Vitabu navyo vimekuwa bei gali. Nilikuwa na tarajia ninunue vitabu tatu. Mathematics mind familia, biology mind familia, chemistry mind familia. Lakini nika nikanunua moja tu kwa kuwa maisha ni magumu. Wametoa wito kwa serikali na walimu wakuu kuzingatia kipindi kigumu cha uchumi na kuwaruhusu wanafunzi kusalia shuleni. Wakinikuu maelekezo ya waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoa kwamba serikali itahakikisha kila mwanafunzi amesalia shuleni. Please in the name of God do not send a Kenyan child home. If a parent comes you will need 10,000 but he comes with 4,000. Take the 4,000 and agree when he is going to bring the 6,000 because corona unless you know where, where the corona came from <laughs> and, and when is going to go kwa wazazi hao wako na watoto wako secondary kwa wapatie nafasi watoto wazifukuzwe kwa shule waendelee kusoma na bidii mzazi atavuta ile atatafuta baadaye tatiba tu school fees inatarajiwa kuwa muula huu wa tatu utakuwa na kazi Walimu na watainiwa wa kidato cha 4 na darasa la nane wakiwa mbioni kujitayarisha kwa mitiani ya kitaifa. The education calendar for the year will kick off in earnest on the 3rd of January 2022. The 2022 academic year will feature four terms and not the usual three. So as to recover from the time lost after the COVID-19 disruptions consequently KCPE and KCSE exams will be administered in March and April of 2022 and also in November and December of 2022 Inabaki kuona jinsi washikadau kwenye sekta ya elimu watashirikiana kuhakikisha kalenda ya elimu imefanikiwa na wanafunzi wamesalia shuleni kinyume na mwaka jana ambapo wanafunzi walilazimika kufunga shule kufuatia visa vya kutoa mashule. Faith Ndeto, Undugu TV.